Jesteśmy na 45 hotelu Mario w Warszawie. Naszym rozmówcą jest Bob Sap, przeciwnik Mariusza Pudzianowskiego na KSW 19. Hello Bob, um, nice to meet you. I came here prepared because I know you like to be very aggressive to re some reporters, so I, I brought my mouth. Oh, I like it. And you're right, because you said my name wrong. It's Bob the Beast, Sap. Of course, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, I need to... I need it back. <laughs> okay, so my first question is, you're fighting uh, Mariusz Pudzianowski uh, and you are uh, fighting with uh, Josh Thompson last, uh, last time. Mm. And what happened in this fight? Because it's very interesting. Yes, uh, against James Thompson, you did. You saw the beast uh, start to rebound back. You saw that uh, with my losses, I began to learn. And uh, hey, some ground skills came, came out a little bit. Unfortunately, along with coming out, happened to be my muscle. It was unable to take it. I did receive a, a pulled quad, uh, and that made me unable to continue the fight. It's rather unfortunate, and you know, for James, is that lucky? No, his uh, point and his purpose was to go in the ring and to maim or have a victory. So he came out victorious, so we give it to James, but we also uh, say, you know what, uh, let's stretch a little bit more, beast. <laughs> And have you seen uh, James fighting with Mariusz Pudzianowski and have you seen, have you noticed any weak points of Mariusz' game? Yes, I have and uh, that's one good thing. Um, as you've seen, uh, James is a tough guy because he took some big shots in there versus uh, Mario Pudzianowski. But one thing that I can tell you is that uh, I, I think that uh, Mario leaves himself open way too much when he's doing that. So, um, you know what, the Beast usually never does any takedowns, ground skills, but uh, I think against Mario, well, shh. That's a secret. <laughs> and uh, um, who did you train exactly for, for this fight with Marius? You know, um, I'm, what I have to do because of my fight schedule, I have to continually take fights so that I'm in shape and I'm prepared and so that I can utilize experience. It does no good for you to be a professional fighter and to say, well, I'm going to fight you. And you know what? And then, but I'm going to be ready in like, uh, six to eight weeks that never works if uh, fighting is what we say is the martial part is the defense the self-defense so if you are you know walking out the store and somebody comes up and says hey give me all your money the, are you really gonna say okay hang on let me warm up and um uh, if i get like uh, six weeks i'm gonna come back and then you can try to mug me no you're immediately going to start fighting. You're immediately going to have self-defense. So you do need to continuously stay engaged in the sport in order to, to learn anything. And to actually be a professional fighter, well, you have to fight for money. <laughs> and have you heard before about KSW and when exactly did they contact you? You know, KSW contacted me roughly, it would be about a month ago. Um, I have seen uh, KSW's uh, fight promotions and stuff, and of course I've seen uh, Mario Pujanowski fighting, and it's great. It's extremely, it's, it's professional, um, it's one of the best, and you can look at that and see, you know, and, and this isn't anything where actually I have to sell that. Sometimes I have to sell some products or do some advertising. This is much different. You can actually say, you know what, Bob, do, and just have the fans and they will really see uh, how wonderful promotion KSW is. And speaking about your advertising size, when did you exactly found out it will help you uh, to improve your career, fighting career? You know, that was roughly in about 2002 when the whole entire beast started launching off and that's when I uh, made, uh, I think it was in the year 2003 is when I uh, was able to grace the cover of uh, Time Magazine. And uh, when you saw the products uh, that I was advertising uh, sell so many that they were moving the company's stock, uh, that was whew, really incredible. And now uh, I wanted to see, hey, well, does the beast still have it for advertising? I started briefly doing some small, funny advertising clips on YouTube about Mario Pujanowski and about my fight in Slovenia and about my boss, Anoki, uh, Antonio Anoki, for the pro wrestling. Just for the fights alone, there are well over 100,000 hits, and these things have, or 100,000 views, and these uh, two commercials have been up for less than two weeks. And you're a very experienced fighter. Um, you, you fight so often. Is there any 
is there any uh, dream fight for you still? Oh yes, the the dream fight for me for MMA, I would say, is Emilio Fedor. I mean, he's great. He's a champion, and I would love to go against him. Um, for an idol fight for somebody that growing up and watching, it's definitely Mario Pudzianowski. I think everyone, every kid, has wanted to grow up and and emulate being big and strong. And you can see this when you. You know, you see Mario Pudzianowski, I think everybody thinks, oh, look, at that's like the Hulk or that's like the thing, that's some action superstar, action hero. And so to get into the ring, that's somebody that I idolize. So that's actually going to be, you know, a dream come true. And for Mario, it's a nightmare come to reality. <laughs> Uh, if I'm correct, you're 80, uh, I'm sorry, 38 right now. Yes, I'm 37, and 37. Oh, don't age me too much, but I will I'm be sorry. 38 this year. <laughs> yes, and you've got plenty of fights, K1 fights, yes. MMA fights. And how do you manage with uh, injuries? Because it's a uh, normal oh, thing for fighters. It, it definitely is. When you're in the ring, you're, you are losing. And usually uh, as a heavyweight, that's by receiving some type of injury. It's difficult. Um, you do have to constantly rehab, and so constantly rehab means in, to keep your nutrition uptake in. That's difficult because I'm always uh, on the road working or training, and so it's difficult to find the time to sleep and to eat. That's one of the, or at least two of the things that are very difficult for me, um, as well as I take uh, what's called like an electronic stim machine. So that's something that you have in your rehabilitation clinics and uh, that kind of does, does a like electric pulse. So I do have a, a professional one that I take with me and I am able to dial it in. And my doctor is of course, he's on call 24 hours. And so, because when you go to some countries, sometimes the language and the medications are, are much different. And so if I have some pain, I'm, I have no idea sometimes what the doctor is giving me this medicine. He says, well, this is for pain. That can be something that can be allergic or have a, a reaction to something else that I'm on if I'm sick or something. Uh, so I do have a doctor that monitors my health 24-7 and uh, he just happens to speak English and, you know, we're able to do, because of Skype, well, doctor's appointments are a little bit easier. Mm -hmm. And after fighting with uh, Marius, uh, are there any more fights this year? Yes, uh, my schedule right now is April 22nd, Slovenia, May 12th is uh, Poland, May 18th is Australia, May 26th is Serbia, June 17th is Korea, and right now we are also negotiating for June 20th to be in Amsterdam. Uh, July uh, is Japan, although the date is to be announced, uh, however, that will be in Japan, so look to see that sometime within the third week of uh, July. So speaking about it, how many more years uh, in the business and how many fights left for you? Yeah, you know, that's a that's a great question. You know, they, they keep bringing the beast back and that's regardless, you know, hey, he wins, there's more fights. He loses, there's more fights. So what that tells you is there's more fights. So um, I am uh, going to be uh, continuously uh, working hard and using my experience. So uh, I figure that uh, this sport kind of uh, retires you. So there's no need to look to do that early. I believe that, uh, you know, pretty soon what will happen is, you know, the promoters and the fans just stop calling you. So there's no need to worry about anything. And it's, it's very different because most people think that a fighter may have some contract. No, after your fight, whether you win or lose, you're unemployed. You have to look for another fight or another contract. It just so be that, uh, well, the beast is good with is, uh, well, my phone has call waiting. <laughs> and you have to use the beast inside you so many so often mm. and Marius uh, is someone special probably because of his strength yes. and and you probably will need a special uh, you will need to use the special beast inside you and how you're gonna do it and is there any message for Marius yes uh, the motivation is this <laughs> the beast you may be stronger but I'm bigger <laughs> big mouth and a big punch <laughs> I'll see you May 12 <laughs> so thank you very much. It was thank nice you. talking to you. Thank you very much.